Brendan Mundorf again of Team STX. We're gonna go over how I string my sidewalls in the new surgeon head. We've got our top string in place. We're gonna move on to the sidewall. The sidewall is the most important part of your string job. Okay, it's gonna create the pocket and ultimately affect the way the stick throws. So again, we're starting out with the sidewall string and this time we're gonna put a double knot in it. So we'll wrap the string around twice before we go back through the loop just so this doesn't slip through the bigger holes at the top of the head. Okay, so I'm bringing the sidewall string from outside the head through the next hole in the sidewall, coming up under this first hole in the mesh and pulling it tight. You'll notice the whole way down the head, I'm trying to get my sidewalls as tight as possible. So as I break my stick in, the mesh stretches and the sidewall doesn't, okay? So after I come, the first hole of mesh. I'm gonna bring the string over the sidewall and back through the outside, pulling it through all the way. I'm pulling it out and up first, and then down to lock it in place. Notice how the string comes down around the outside, through the sidewall, and then over top of itself. This locks it in place so it won't go anywhere. Now I'm gonna come this time through the back of the mesh, pulling it down and tight, I'm trying to get a good idea of where that mesh is gonna sit. Through the outside of the head, out, up, and then down, locking it in place. And you can see that this sidewall is not going anywhere. It's really tight. You don't want any stretch in that. Okay, so as I do this, I'm gonna catch up here on the other side and just do two or three holes on each side of the head at once so I can get a feel for how much the mesh is gonna be stretching across the head and keep it consistent the whole way down. Okay, now that I've caught up on the right side, I'm gonna continue on my sidewall down the left side of the head. So from here, I'm just gonna continue this process of coming through the back of the mesh and getting my string tight to the sidewall. Okay, it's really important for me to keep this top area of the mesh tight. As the ball comes out and you form your pocket, you don't want the ball sagging in the mesh up here and hitting the top of the plastic. So I like to keep it very tight. So what I wanna do is keep less holes of mesh to area in the sidewall. Okay, it's sort of like a ratio. I have three holes of mesh here and about that much sidewall. I wanna keep it very tight. So I'm going to continue down, okay, pulling it tight. Now when you start to see a little slack, okay, you know you have to tighten it up a little bit. So this next hole, what I'm going to do is lock this mesh to this hole in the sidewall. So starting again the same way by bringing this string down to the back of the mesh, okay through the sidewall from the outside. Right, now this time, instead of coming down over the string below the hole of mesh, I'm gonna come up through the same hole in the mesh. Okay. Crossing over the original string we went in with, and that's gonna lock that piece of mesh right there. Okay, that's gonna make this all very tight up top and give you a natural ramp for the ball to come out of. Okay, now that you've locked in your top portion of your pocket, okay, keeping that tight, I like my pocket in the middle, so I'm gonna start to create my pocket here. In order to do that, I'm gonna start using more holes of mesh to area in the sidewall. So right here in the middle of the stick, between where I lock the mesh in for the top and down here towards the bottom, this is where I'm gonna use more holes of mesh to sort of focus my pocket right in the middle of the stick. So starting here, I'm coming down through the back. And into the side of this next hole. Pulling it tight. Same thing here. The 
whole time you can sort of push the mesh up with your hand to give yourself an idea how much of a pocket there will be. So what I'm going to do here, before I go through another sidewall, since this is where my pocket's going to be, I'm going to take the string and go through another hole of mesh. Alright, pulling it up, I can give myself an idea how much I'm working with there. I'm going to skip a hole in the sidewall, put my string through down here. This is where these sidewalls with a lot of holes really come in handy because it gives me the freedom to put the pocket anywhere I want it. Now, go to the next hole in the mesh, bring that in, get an idea what that's looking like. Okay, I like where that pocket is. So now I'm going to catch up on the other side and then finish up at the bottom. Okay, so after we've caught up on both sides, I want to double check, make sure I like where that pocket is. I have a good amount of mesh right here to create that nice centralized pocket in the middle of the stick. All right, so now for me, I want to make it a little bit tighter as I finish up down here in these last few holes at the bottom so I don't have like a big, I like to call it a boat where the ball rolls around in your pocket too much. I like the ball to sit in one spot, which makes for a more accurate and more controlling stick. So I'm going to finish up, make it a little bit tighter at the bottom, and then get ready to do the bottom string. So for this particular stick, I'll skip a hole. Notice I'm not going to go through any mesh at this point. I'm just going to go through the sidewall as if I did go through a hole of mesh. Okay. Then I'll bring my sidewall string to the back of the mesh. All right, pull that down. Making sure I still like the way that it's looking. All right. Through the mesh one more or through the sidewall one more time. Now what I'll do is finish off by coming through the back of this hole in the mesh. And if you can see here, I'm going to bring it down right through this hole in the bottom. Okay, so put the string right in there, bring it through, pull it tight, and tie a nice knot in that. And that'll finish up that side of the head. And then I'll just match it on the other side. Okay, so we finished up the sidewall. I want to go over the importance of this sidewall one more time. It's really important that you keep the top of your mesh tight to the sidewall of the stick. And at some point, you pull it down really tight and lock the sidewall into the side of the head. Now where you want to create your pocket, you want to leave more holes of mesh. Here I use three, and that's right where the ball is going to sit. The ball is going to sit underneath this locked in part and right above the lower part of the stick. This allows you to be a feeder or a shooter in a quick second decision.